Hello and welcome to the Calmcast, a time to feel calm and think clearly. I'm Claire Downham, the Queen of Calm, a transformational life coach. I was a burnt out head teacher who finally made the journey to calm after years of trying and I want to prevent you from having to do the same. The Calmcast is a series of short explorations, gently guiding you back to your natural state, which is calm and clarity. Just listen like you would listen to music, with an open mind and curiosity. There's nothing else to do. Now let's relax into today's episode. So today, um, today's episode is... Um, another made up word because I like to make up words but I didn't actually make this word up Um, my lovely friend and colleague Wynn Morgan made up this word story he said storyfy in the podcast that I was listening to so I've made it into storyfication Um, because that's pretty much actually um a beautiful summary as a word of, of something that we're all doing all day, every day, aren't we? Making up stories. Trouble is, we don't usually know that we're making them up. So my storification generally happens about other people. <laughs> and I was having a conversation, I think it was yesterday, with uh, with someone, with a client actually, about the word why. Like, when we experience someone else's behavior and we ask why, why, why are they behaving like that? And then we proceed to make up a story about why they're behaving the way they're behaving. And I'm smiling as I'm saying this, because that is absolutely one of my things (laughs) is to, is to look at somebody else's baby and then make up some complex story about their childhood and why they're doing that and how misunderstood they were. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you can imagine, I'm sure you've experienced it too. Um, and it, it can, it can feel like it's pulling us in, can't it? Like we're being pulled into this story, um, quite firmly, actually. Um, you know, like, it's like, there's, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel drawing us in, but there is no light at the end of a tunnel where we're making up the story. We, all we can do is wrap more and more of our own thinking around that particular story that we're creating. And maybe you've got an awareness of what your stories are. Which which are your stories? Are your stories about the people and what they're thinking and why they're behaving the way they're behaving? Maybe your stories are um, about the future or the past. Maybe your stories are should stories. This should be different to how it is. That should be different to how it is. Whatever your stories are, whatever storification you're doing, there is freedom in just being aware that you're doing it. And and the awareness, your, your system is programmed to make you aware. The trouble is you might not know that it's telling you that. Like we actually occupy an awareness raising system because all the time our feelings are letting us know that they're they're helping us to be aware of the mood that we're in, the state of mind we currently have, the thinking that we have in the moment, the storification that we're doing. All the time our feelings are letting us know about that. The trouble is that most of the time we don't realize the feelings are to do with the storification. We, we think that the feelings are to do with the thing we're making the story up about, that we think there's some truth in that and the feeling is letting us know it's true. The feeling is letting you know that it's false, that you've got awkward, uncomfortable, low mood thinking about something, that the story you're telling is, is much more like a, a nightmare or a daymare actually than, than a daydream. 
And really when I, you know, that's the first time I've really articulated like that, that our feelings are a tool or a, not a tool, a something in us that is trying to raise our awareness, trying to let us know what we're believing that isn't true. But usually we don't realize that's what they're, that's what they're there to say. We don't realize that our feelings are letting us know about our thinking. We think that they're letting us know that our story that we've created is true. And really, it, all, all we need is some awareness. I, I have still have hundreds, thousands probably of stories that I get caught up in all the time because it's a really human thing to do. I think, you know, we, we are meaning making machines. We're, we're trying to grasp at the straws of some bit of something, some bit of physical reality and, and make it into something that makes sense to us. I mean, yesterday in the, in a conversation with a client, we were talking about, um, we were talking about the looks on people's faces. So in a meeting where perhaps we present something and then we see that, oh, we're not, that people don't seem to be receiving it very well because we think the looks on people's faces mean things, don't we? We storify those. And I've heard lots of times people telling me that they know how people feel about them, what people are thinking about them, just from the looks on their faces. But we can't ever know that. Anything that we storyify about somebody else's look on their face is our story, not theirs. It's always our story. Anything that goes through here, through our heads, is our story, not somebody else's. And just when we start to see that, there's some ease. You can't know what's in somebody else's head. You can't know what is meant by any action. Even, I have to say, if somebody says something to you, you still don't know. That's not a long-term thought. It's just something they thought in the moment and said. And that can be helpful when we're around people who perhaps aren't always speaking to us as we might like to be spoken to. But we are always storifying. We're always looking for the meaning in things. So, so knowing that that's a human thing to do means there's nothing wrong with you if you're doing it and you don't have to do anything about it. But your system is built for awareness raising. It, it's made for that. Your body will be telling you, your body will be showing you the discomfort and letting you know that you're caught up in a story that's not true it will always let you know and that's a really um that's a really amazing place to be that when you when you realize that when you're in that uncomfortable feeling that's letting you know that you're not you're not in your best place you're not in your best thinking you're not connected to the other person in particular but you're not even connected to yourself. But how amazing to have like a system that works as well as a car dashboard with all its information on it. We've got a system like that. Your feelings are the system to let you know when you are storifying. That's so powerful. It means you're always being nudged back on track when you realize that's what the nudge is for, that's what the feeling is for. The feeling is to let you know you're off track. Like the rumble strips on the motorway. Just letting you know you're storifying right now. You might wanna not do that. And the more you understand, cause this is not about me telling you what to do. This is helping you to understand how the system works. The more you understand it, the more, um, well, the more free you are, really. 
and the more guided you are. And the more you realise that those things are stories, the less it makes sense to engage with them. And the more and more it makes sense to just let them, let them go. If that makes sense to you. Thank you so much for listening. There's nothing to do now, but bring some awareness to how this is working out in your life. Listen regularly to experience longer and longer periods of calm. This has been the Calm Cast with Claire Downham, Queen of Calm. Take care and keep listening.